blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A first, a first down carry for Henry. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry at their 36-yard line. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Watson on first down. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Back to make things a little bit easier. To throw is Watson. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Tyler Peoples Jones, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes here. He's well, not stopping the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Yard line here, second down and three. Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he's tackled inside the field. In motion right, Peoples Jones. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. Henry up the middle. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Nothing doing there. The third. Back to throw, Watson. Looking for Cooper, that's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 and the 45 in enemy territory. A good play there. From the 50, it's Watson. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first time. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. There's a nice move. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Chubb producing out of He quietly is in the top 20 all-time in both yards and touchdowns in a player's first five seasons. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10-yard line. Now Watson on third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. Ready to go. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. I guess no need to force them, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Henry again on second down. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Chop that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. That's a great analysis. To throw again. Watson. He's got Njoku over the middle. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down at 15 after the false start. Here's Watson. The third quarter starts with a run by Chubb. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carrying the bird. To throw is Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the go. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. 
kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get a ball. Start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. Here's Watson. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Elijah Molden. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you well, on that. And that one's incomplete. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And finish this one off. Faking the give. Now Watson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver. Another nice game. 13 yards. Out of the gun. Watson. That's caught. It's Demetrius Felton. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shot of the 30. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Demetric Felton, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Browns will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. As they'll try again now, third and long. Tannehill. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a big play there for Tennessee. 51 yards. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. First down in the red zone. To the air again, Tannehill. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And the Browns are going to have the football here at their own 18. They need to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Eighth catch for him now. over. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Browns! Jordan Akins, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Browns are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. This late stage of the contest. On first down, Tannehill. And he's going to be brought down. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. Going deep for Hopkins. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He builds some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here. Give yourself some positive Lines momentum. up incomplete. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. 
And he gets this one inside the fifth. Discipline. And even though he's a rookie, he really should know better. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was...